Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters of Main Street Baptist Church. Good Monday to you, or Tuesday, or Wednesday, or whenever this is finally making its way to your television screen, or mobile device, or computer laptop. I hope you're well this week. Had a wonderful Sunday um, looking at elders last week and celebrating the life uh, of Carl Waters. Uh, really sweet uh, funeral service uh, th- Sunday afternoon. And I just want to thank everybody who helped make that happen. There was a lot of service behind the scenes to uh, make that funeral go off well and serve the family uh, with good generosity and hospitality. I just, one thing I love about our church, y'all are so generous and, and honestly, like y'all go above and beyond. Um, and so I'm very thankful for you during this time. Well, if you found this video and you don't know who we are, we are trying to replant for the glory of God, becoming a church that wants to see hearts transformed through the power of the gospel that treasures Jesus Christ above all and teaches the truth, uh, no matter how hard it gets. So that's what we're doing, and we're glad that you're a part of it. Let me tell you what's going on in the life of our church. First of all, don't forget that we have changed our official start time on Sundays to 1030. 1030. So when you invite people to church, like I know you good Christians are doing, you're telling everybody to come at 1030. If you want to tell them to come early, though, that's great because we have core doctrine classes at 930, which I'll remind you about in a moment. Uh, And, you know, one thing that's already been cool is that people are already sort of mingling. You know, sometimes when we were starting at 10, it was like people were still trickling in and, you know, we weren't really there yet, but now everybody's there. And so it was, uh, I couldn't get you guys to stop talking, which is a good, a good thing. Um, so 1030 this Sunday, don't forget it keeps sharing the word with others. This coming Sunday, November the 21st is a pretty big deal. Uh, we will be electing our first lay elder ever in the life of our church. And Lord willing, you you will all give your your hearty amen to that. It sounds like many of you already have. But this is where congregationalism really comes into play um, as we are uh, seeking to affirm Jay Poole as an elder here in our church. And so we'll have some time to uh, reflect on that Sunday morning. And then right after the service, we'll have a family meeting in which we will um, have an official vote for J. Poole as elder. Make sure you come and make yourself heard. Our new small group ministry has begun and it is off and moving and grooving. Don't get left behind. Uh, This weekend we'll be having our second dose of small groups as we're still building this ministry. It'll be at the Matheny home uh, on November the 20th, which is Saturday at three o'clock. And then we'll be on Friday, uh, November the 19th, the day before at uh, 4.30. I know that was confusing the way I did it backwards. But you guys are smart. I believe in you. You know where to be and uh, uh, what time to be there. Uh, there will be some food involved. If you don't come for anything, come for the food. Bring some food with you. Uh, enjoy the fellowship. Um, it'll be a good time together. We're going to do a study on the parables, uh, and that's real brief. Um, I think they're going to talk about the parable of the sowers this week. Uh, but The most important thing about small groups is just being together, right? Having dozens of little conversations, getting to know one another better, being in each other's lives. This is something you can invite people to, you can bring uh, friends, coworkers, neighbors to, uh, but most importantly, it's a time for you to dig deeper into discipleship. Uh, So make that a priority. Be there this Friday and Saturday. Just what does it mean to be a Christian? Seems like nobody knows anymore. Uh, Well, we're doing a class on what it means to be a Christian, or at least uh, the essential uh, truths of where Christianity came from, which is a real person named Jesus who came to earth. And we're learning all about him from the Gospel of Mark. That is every Sunday at 930, at least for the next four weeks. Jay and I are teaching that course. We've already covered Jesus' authority uh, as the Son of God and his death on the cross. Meet us this Sunday at 9.30 to have coffee and snacks and good fellowship. And we'll talk about Jesus' resurrection from the dead. Is there a better topic? Come on. Every Sunday we celebrate that. I hope to see you there at 9.30. And it is indeed about to be the most wonderful time of the year. So we want to spread... Christmas cheer by singing loud for all to hear or something like that. I don't know. We're going to have a Christmas decoration party on 
uh, November the 29th. So we're going to get that tree up before December 1st, Lord willing. Uh, and we'll just have fun being together, eating Christmas tree cakes and doing all the Christmassy things that build good fellowship. Uh, and we're also going to, Lord willing, have a Christmas potluck together. First of all, because it's been way too long. And second of all, because Christmas, which is going to be December the 19th uh, after the Sunday morning service. But those are two things to mark your calendar for. And of course, pray for the Christmas season because we will be uh, preaching through Titus and looking at grace appearing through uh, the manifestation of Jesus Christ who came to earth, which is what Christmas is all about. So I'm looking forward to celebrating that with you this year. That's all the announcements I have for you this go around. I would encourage you to remember the Waters family, uh, especially Diane during this time. There is a GoFundMe on Facebook. You can find that pretty easily online uh, through her daughter-in-law, Dawn Waters. Uh, I would encourage you to give if you can. If you're not so digitally inclined, uh, you can give through the church. Uh, any Sunday with your tithe and offering, you can just mark on an envelope that you want it to get to Diane Waters uh, and all her funeral and medical expenses for Carl. Uh, we want to love her well. So if you'd like to give, please do that. That's all the announcements I have. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll be around. Looking forward to seeing you at small groups. Have a great week and God bless.